Right, good morning everybody and welcome back to Purbeck. So this morning, I have help from Michelle, Dex and Craig, all the way from Australia, which is fantastic. Right guys, we've got some some decent jobs to do today, to be perfectly honest. So uh, Michelle, if you could start where you left off yesterday, get those bales over to the uh, sheep sheep farm and put them away where the other where the other two were originally um, will do Robert thank you uh, Craig if you could grab one of the tractors over the um, the side of the the cow shed probably the New Holland or the case if that's over there and then go to the store and pick up our new cultivator which should be there waiting for us yep no worries on my way and then I've got a couple of fields that we need cultivating. Uh, Dex, I would like you to get the cedar, I think. Uh, let me see. Hang on. What fields do we want doing? Uh, field 36 needs to be canola, I think. And that's going to take no. a little while. Pick a tractor. <laughs> no problem at all. Excellent. Thank you very much. In the meantime, I think I'm going to start by... I'm going to see how the, um, how the silage is getting on. And potentially we could do a feed mix. Possibly. Although, I imagine that the silage isn't anywhere near ready yet. 75%, uh, so it will be ready by the end of today. Which is fine. Oh, better not get in Dex's way there. Might get run over. Uh, how are we doing in here? Well. I could clear the poo out, couldn't I? That seems to be my regular job. So let's do that. Right, there we go, that's all the poo cleaned out the cows. Well, not out the cows, I'm sure there's plenty more to come out the cows, but uh, out the um, the cow enclosure anyway. How are they doing for food here? Uh, no, they're good, they've got about 23,000 litres and 10,000 litres of water, which is really good. Um, they've also got 5,000 litres of milk some point we need to get that removed but we need to get a milk tanker uh, you may have noticed that um, some of my Kubota equipment has gone they've actually been recalled all the Kubota equipment have got faulty electrical modules apparently so they've been recalled and the uh, the dealership has given me a direct replacement basically I think they're slightly cheaper direct replacement uh, for the skid steer and um, and yeah they're loaning me a, a, a pickup truck which may become fairly indefinite in fact I haven't even picked that up from the store yet I've just got the uh, still got the gator here at some point we might get that later today wonder how we're doing for slurry yeah it's uh, it's gonna be slow to build up that slurry Right.
What could I do then? Let's have a think. Do I have a tractor? Oh, I do. There's New Holland. Excellent. Shell throw over. Yeah, go ahead, Michelle. Uh, that's all the hay bills back in the store at the sheep farm. What do you want me to do now, Ella? That's fantastic, thank you. Um, what uh, what tractor you in? You in the McCormick? Uh, no, the then front loader, over. Ah, yes. Ah, well, we'll need that back over here to do a um a feed mix at some point. However, the uh, the silage isn't fully fermented yet. Ah, yes. That's a good shout. In fact, I'll ring the dealership up now and ask where they've got to. Yep, they've just said they're in stock and ready to be collected. Uh, do you want me to start heading down to the uh, dealership now, Ella? So, yep, if you want to go down there, um, leave the pallet fork over at the, at the sheep farm. So, Craig to Robert, over. Go ahead, Craig. Uh, I've got the cultivator. What field did you want me to start working on? Uh, so we need the oil seed. Uh, rah, what's it called? Oil seed radish. <laughs> anyway, yeah, field forty. Uh, and field seventy-eight need cultivating, please. Roger that. Thank you. Now, last time I do remember that. Uh, Bearfather managed to get half a field 78 spread with manure, so I might see if I can get slurry spread on the rest while Craig is doing field 40. Hopefully a tanker load of slurry will be enough. If it will fill a tanker, that is. Not quite. 91% of a tanker. Well, let's hope that that goes a little bit further on the field than uh, it does in the tanker. There we go, that um, cover crop is going to give us a layer of fertiliser anyway. Have to do more of that next year. Right, here we are over at field 78. Uh, let's have a look and see. We can't actually see where the manure is spread as it was done last month and it's all soaked into the ground. Uh, so yeah, if we start about here, that should, is it spreading? It, no, now it's spreading, there we go. Right, so we should be able to get a fair chunk of this, hopefully, done. Even if it's not all of it, every little helps. have a quick stop and have a look yep that's doing nicely in fact it's covering some of the bits for a second application but we can even it all out with a sprayer after we've um, 
cultivated and seeded. Or planted. I haven't decided yet. Right, well that's all our slurry out. Take the slurry spreader back to the cow farm. And then we'll uh, maybe pick up the planter. That's the bales by collected and back at the uh, farm, Robert. What do you want to do next, Ella? Ah, well, if you're free, then that's fantastic. I'm just filling up the um, the planter with some seed and fertilizer. Um, and then, as soon as Craig's finished cultivating field 40, we need some um, some corn planted in it. If you wanted to take the New Holland. Go ahead, Craig. Uh, would you want the field stones collected off this field, or are we going to leave it? No, we're going to leave it. I don't have a stone collector. Roger that. Uh, good idea, Michelle. <laughs> yes, you're probably better with the front weight on that. Not sure how far he's got yet, Michelle. Um, may, yeah, maybe waiting around a little bit. I've got two, two and a half laps of headlings done so far. Okay. Cool. I suppose I can walk up to have a look, given that the field's only just here. Here we are. Oh, crop is encroaching onto onto the grassland here. That planter actually unfolds into a much wider planter, Michelle. There you are. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to have the jobs done so quickly. I think Abby was right hiring these these workers was one of the best things we could do. Which, um, it doesn't leave me a huge amount to get on with. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe time for a cup of tea. Right, we are going to use this cultivator to help Craig with the field. And in the future we're going to try and remember we have implements already. But the trouble is I'm getting old now. And I don't necessarily remember everything. There we go. Right. 
that's working nicely. And I'll head There we go, that's that field fully cultivated. Now, Craig is gonna head over to 78 and get, get going on that one. Michelle will finish planting over here. I've got a feeling that she's probably gonna need a few more bags of either seed or fertilizer, or maybe both. So it might be worth... I already have to refill Ron once, Robert. Oh. Ah, okay. Uh, fertilizer, seed or both? Okay, I might go and pick up the pallet forks from the from the sheep farm, and then uh, go and get a couple of bags. Uh, pallet forks are in the main shed behind all the implements, over. Lovely. Thank you very much. Now, do we ha we do have a bale trailer that's over at the uh, the sheep farm, isn't it? So I can go and pick up some bags on that. That might be a handy job to do. Robert to Dex. Go ahead, Robert. How are you doing for seed? Uh, 85% so far, and looking at the field, I could potentially get this done with what I've got, I think. Super. Might need one bag at the push, but I don't think so. Okay. Well, there is another couple of bags over in the shed anyway so I'll get enough for what I think Michelle will use and then uh, we'll have plenty uh, just be aware I'm already at 50% fertilizer over oh dear <laughs> fertilizer is going to cost a lot of money it may get to the point where I'll say uh, forget the fertilizer and we'll just just get the seed in the ground Go ahead, Craig. At the end of the day, we could always just um, spread slurry. We could if we had any. <laughs> I've used the last of it on field 78, unfortunately. Oh, roger that. And we've only got a little bit of manure as well. Uh, still a couple of bags of fertilizer and I'll pick up a couple more so uh, we'll see how we get on
Right, so here we are at the store. I'm going to drop that off there. We're going to go in and talk to them and get some bags. And then we'll load them up. Ah, oh, this must be our, our new pickup. I'll have to pick that up later. Get it? Pick up? No. Alright. Good job I wasn't on the radio for that one. Alright, so there we go. We spent about £7,000. We've got ourselves another two bags of fertiliser. And four bags of seed. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to pick up both of these at the same time. I have got rear wheel weights, but we've got no rear weight on, so... Nope, that's not happening. One at a time, then, shall I? Maybe. Yep, one at a time it is. I think with the seed it might be slightly different, but fertiliser is heavy. Alright, let's get it put on the front of the trailer. A little bit further over if I can. There we go. Alright, I'll get these loaded up and then we'll head back to the farm. This is requiring a huge amount of concentration. But, there we go. That's the last of the bags on the trailer. I will get the trailer refitted. What on earth is that noise? Sounds like an aeroplane or something, but... I can't see one. Hmm. Strange. There we go. All the bags are strapped on nicely. And we're going to head back. I think to make it easier for Michelle, we'll pop these in the corner of the field that she's working in. Come on, car. for a quicker refill for her as well. Alright then, we'll see you back at the field. Alright, there we go. That is the seed and the fertiliser delivered back to the field. Where would you like it, Michelle? Is this in the way here, or is that okay? Uh, perfectly fine there, Robert. Got a decent headland, so it won't get in the way turning around over. Okay. Superb. Drop the trailer there, then, and I'll come back and get it later. Now, one thing I did want to do, while the others are still doing their jobs, is to start our greenhouse off. We do have a greenhouse over at the sheep farm. It just needs some water. I think it's already got its compost and soil and everything. But we need to take some water there. And we need to start producing, well, I think tomatoes, strawberries, and lettuces would be lovely. Lettuces? Lettuce. What's the, pure, what's the plural of lettuce? I think it's still lettuce, isn't it? Yes, it is. Lovely. <laughs> right, given that the 
water tank is already connected to the case I'll drop the fent off there and we'll get the case However, we do need to fill it up with some water. Don't know how many litres the greenhouse takes, but uh, should be about 10,000, I think. It'll definitely be more than a, a tanker load. But we'll get it started anyway. There we are. We can put the water into the greenhouse. Lovely. Oh, it only takes 5,000 litres. Oh, well, that's good then. Let's have a look. We will get tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries planted. Abby's going to be looking after the greenhouse more than anything else, but uh, obviously, we will need help in. Getting the uh, getting the produce sold. I'll just go and see how the sheep are doing. Oh, look. Abby must have been shearing them. We have some wool pallets. Well, that's great news. Well, the best time to sell wool is next month. Maybe we'll have two full pallets by then. So that's fantastic. Right, I think I might head back and give the fent a bit of a wash. There we are. Nice and clean now. Don't know why I'm giving the slurry tanker a... Uh, a wash over. It's not even dirty. Right. Pop the beacons off. So, Michelle's very nearly finished that field. But I might go and hook up to the trailer, ready to bring that back. I can confirm I'll be able to finish the field without refilling. I'm still at 50% and 65% on seed and fertiliser or over a bit. Ah, fantastic. Either Michelle's a mind reader or uh, I've left my radio channel open. I think it might have been the latter. Right. Either way, that's useful. We've got these seeds, seed and fertilizer bags to put away now. Hey, 
Craig to Robert. Over. Go ahead, Craig. Field 78 is complete on the way back to the farm to wash the equipment. Perfect. Thank you very much. Do you know where the uh, the pressure washer is? Okay, well you'll see me working near it anyway. <laughs> In fact, Michelle might be using it to clean up the uh, New Holland. Michelle, throw it over. Go ahead, Michelle. Yes, so uh, hold on to it there for a minute. Once I've got the fertilizer away, we can put it down in front of that. Right, the fertiliser is all now away. I'm still in the way. Quite a tight shed to move around in. I think that's pretty much it for today. It's now five to four. So I think when Dex is finished, that'll be uh, that'll be the last of the jobs for today. Uh, that's the uh, New Holland parked up in the barn with the bales at the cow barn. Up. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Ready over. Superb, and we'll do that as the first job next time then. Right, that can stay there for now. Right. How are you getting on then, Dex? Uh, about a third of the field settled to go, I think. Okay, so only one last job for the day. Someone needs to give me a lift over to the store to pick up the new pickup truck. Any volunteers? I'm free. Okay. Let's go yeah, in the gator. Do Let's go in the gator. Right, here we are. Thank you very much, Michelle. Right, you can head off back to uh, back to the farm in the gator and I'll follow you in the in the pickup. Well do, Robert. been a good day today we've got a lot of jobs done we've set ourselves up nicely for the summer months we've got a couple of new vehicles that new holland skid steer is really nice it's a shame that mostly all it's going to be using for is clearing out the cows 
unfortunately it just hasn't got the reach to um, put the uh, stuff in the feed mixer which means that we're going to need a front loader bucket as well for the fence it's a never ending expense on a farm isn't it but hopefully starting next month we'll be able to start bringing in some money with the wool possibly even some uh, greenhouse produce I don't know we'll have to wait and see And it won't be too many months until we can start the harvest. We have a wheat crop that's very nearly ready. And the bakery has kindly offered to, if we can get it turned into flour, that's a grain mill then the, um, the bakery is going to take that flour. Uh, Robert, while we're waiting for Dex to finish in uh, the field, if you want to get the bucket on order, I can go and pick it up, Barber. Uh, okay, I'll ring up the dealership now. The fence still has the flatbed connected to it, I think, Michelle. Well, good job today, Craig. Yeah, thanks, Robert. Yeah, it's been a really good day. Plenty of work got done, and which is good. Yeah. Just getting in and achieving the goals of a, a day, it's good. Yeah, hiring helpers has given me more time to, to uh, just stop and enjoy the environment, and we just lean on this fence being right, you know, not, not too close to the barbed wire. Really, really nice and peaceful around here. Away from all the, the major roads and everything. The lack of traffic is quite nice to be able to just sit and enjoy. It is. Only until Michelle and Dex come roaring back in. Naturally. <laughs> right, well, it's been, it's been a good day's work. Um, Dex is still working away in the field. He will get some overtime pay for this. Um, but, yeah, we've, we've, we've done well today. Our new helper, Craig, he's worked hard. Um, I, I believe he'll be with us again in two months' time. Uh, um, in the meantime, we'll have the bear father back and possibly Lennox. But uh, yes, Craig's done well to do the work of two people today. Um, and Michelle and Dex carried on from uh, from last month and, and yeah, worked really hard. Michelle's off getting a uh, a bucket for the front loader at the moment. And Dex is finishing off the field. So, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.